everyone who has skin can wear sunscreen and that's gonna help with our UV radiation. It's particularly important on really sunny days, like midday, and it's particularly important on times when it's really bright out, things that reflect. Things that kind of sneak up at us, water, sand, ice, they're a little bit sneaky and they can be trouble. No one wakes up and says, hey, today I'm gonna get a sunburn. <laughs> but you might, your walk might take a couple hours. You might take a de detour and enjoy being outside. You might meet a friend on the fly. And I think having a foundation where you put sunblock on every day is gonna keep us from getting those unexpected burns. That aisle can be daunting. And even someone who's in the industry, I wonder how have we got to this many things. Happily, the new standard is gonna be the phrase broad spectrum. And what that means is it hits ultraviolet B, the classic SPF number runner, but also a UVA, UVA. And UVA is the thing that sneaks through glass, causes wrinkles, and it is really helpful to keep protected from that as well. Certainly the cream is the gold standard. It's been around the longest and will have the most studies. Things like spray are really elegant from the point of view of covering, for example, guys with body hair or a hard place to reach. Some of our eye doctor colleagues and lung colleagues worry, hey, could this be inhaled? So it's a good thing to use off of the face. You want to spray downwind, kind of the common sense stuff. The overcast helps us a little, but not as much as you'd think. It blocks about 20% of the ultraviolet, so that means 80% is still coming at us. Vitamin D is a big challenge in the Northwest, and everyone worries if they're going to get enough. I find in the winter we are covered up and while it's tempting to want to get a little sun on our hands and our face, I worry that we're getting enough to damage but not enough to boost our D. Vitamin D lasts about 90 days in the body so come the fall it's time to get that capsule, that gummy, that supplement. I think we Northwest people live kind of like mole people in a way. <laughs> and it's a little dark, but it's a real gift to us in terms of aging is slower. There's a fewer of the chronic sun type of skin cancers, and that's a positive. First of all, we baby our skin. No need to scrub, no need to rub. Helping the swelling is really a positive. We can do that with like an ibuprofen type of anti-inflammatory by mouth. We can do that with a hydrocortisone cream that we can buy from the drugstore over the counter. And if it's itchy, a good anti-itch, aloe type of thing might keep us from scratching and causing more damage.